It's gaming time. Here we go. Well, it's, I'll explain when we get into it. We gotta watch the opening cutscene. Because it's just as good as the music I just played. Oh. That's when, that's when you know it's gonna be good when they're presenting it. It's too epic. Meet when I just got out of the bath. <laughs> I'm gonna turn up the game audio a bit. All right, let's get going. This is gonna be so good. I mean, I know it's gonna be great. Because it's the best. <laughs> Amnesia nap. Like, doop. <laughs> well, I passed it. The iPhone 10. That this is, is several years old. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Thanks. Wii U gamepad. Finally. All right, here we go. Uh, hold on. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, look at that HUD. It's so much cleaner. <laughs> this does kind of look like the battle pass. Thank you. I know. Open up. up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Authenticating. Yep, that's it. That's the iPhone 10, all right. Oh, come on in. upon high rule once again yes now go I'm being quiet because this is the opening but we're basically out now we just gotta look over the fancy cliff and then I will explain the very few rules and some reasonings I have but until then whoo That was, you probably heard that, but I got a Steam notification from someone to play Among Us. 
Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Man, that really interrupted things, but uh, still a cool shot, though. And we're off! Thank you. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting these notifications for a little bit. Can I turn this off? Probably not, I don't think so. Boy, oh. No. Okay, well. We're here. All right, so challenge, it's pretty simple. In fact, um, it's not going to matter for like this entire first area, basically. Uh, no teleporting, so we are only allowed to walk from place to place. Means we really gotta make our adventures everywhere really count because um, otherwise we have to walk all the way back to them. And uh, other than that, uh, no healing in combat. Combat is just when the the music's playing, basically. And that's really it. Um, no champion powers once we get that. And I'm gonna probably limit myself to like 10 hearts or so. And uh, the more astute viewers out there may realize we are not playing in master mode. Uh, my reasoning for this is everything about that mode is great except for the regening health, which I think is bullshit. And I will just choose to not play lame by not throwing bombs, like, repeatedly. Instead of having to deal with the, uh, the regening health and the inflated numbers. I beg your pardon! I do believe that is my baked apple! You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? <laughs> Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. No, like, I literally don't know where we are. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. It's that place out there. Hmm. That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yeah, I have forgotten that to be a mere ghost of its former self. Oh, that's, that sucks. Anyway, I'm off. Ooh. Bling. I wonder if anything will happen when I jump into this conspicuous- Ah! It's a guy! Yeah. You're not Hestu! But, you can see me? I know your kind can see the children of the forest. Well, if you want to Hestu, please return this to him. Thanks. Huh. And my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nice nose into suspicious, suspicious places. You know, thank god this game doesn't have as much text as Planescape Torment, which I promise I will get back to one of these days. Just today is not that day, and probably not tomorrow either. What? Link. Shut. <laughs> Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. The what on my what now? <laughs> More on his sus.
Uh oh, it's a guy. Oh, I have the band. Ah! Oh. I was expecting him to die, if I'm being honest with you. Just one hit, and it's just like, yeah, this tree branch sucks. Crazy how they came up out with the best looking Switch game on day one. That's really crazy of them to do. Really bold. Yep. Just a really sane, insane move. Leave a chest. Yo, check that that absolute Metal Gear Solid play. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think... Guys, I don't mean... I think he may have noticed me. Got a feeling he may have noticed. <laughs> Ow. Okay, yeah, I got motion on. These motion controls, they really work. They make they make you feel like you're throwing a club. Look at those bastards. They think they can just do that. They think they can just live a peaceful existence. Not when I'm around. Not when I'm here to kill them. Just you wait, you guys. Not, nothing can save you from this, what, what's about to hit you. Nothing. Nothing in the entire world. You know what they need to bring back in the sequel for this game? Bomb shoes. Wait, not bomb shoes. Bo bomb flowers. Because that, that, I think that'd just be neat. And fit well. Nice. Thank you. That absolute pure strategy on my part. Your skill. All gamer. We're going to need to get a death tally going. See how many times I die throughout this. Because, I mean, it's not a particularly hard challenge. And I'm not on master mode either, but still. I, I, we gotta keep track of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was just like Tilted Towers. I, I agree with you, actually. Rip Bozo. Thank you. Thank you. This is absolutely an environmental story, Tyler. <laughs> nice. Bozo. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Very good. Very good indeed. Alright, now it's time for the next cutscene, so it's probably going to be slightly silent for a bit. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess I should just slot my iPhone 10 into the slot. See what's happening, you know. Can't wait for the new iOS update. Secret tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks.
Whoa, that's wild. <laughs> Not cool. Selling local information. <laughs> I have a I have a friend, and we made a joke about this scene right here. The, the water dropping here. I'm not gonna recreate that joke, but um, if he sees this or I put this in the video, he'll know. He'll know. Is it? Yeah, yeah, try, try reloading. We're like checking on a different device. Is Yeah, maybe my mic's not plugged in right or something. Try to remember. How about now? Asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. Here, let's just let this cutscene play out. And then hold on. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh, thanks, Pound. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. There we go. Now what's great about this place is the, uh... Is how no one actually knows how to get down from it the first time. It's like, it's just a staircase though. It's really simple. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Alright, there we go. Why did you just call me?! <laughs> My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower, and others just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost though, a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. That's crazy. Did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? No! You need not conceal the truth from me. Truth be told. I saw I saw the whole thing unfold from afar. Stop watching me. Although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you heard something coming from the direction of the castle. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head, did I? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious horse? No. Hmm. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, the grape juice doesn't look very appetizing. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. True, it is just like Terraria Calamity. Except, not at all, actually. I don't- I haven't played Calamity, and I don't really intend to. Hmm. I must ask you, Courageous Way. Do you intend to wake, make your way to the castle? 
Sure thing, yep. That's the goal right now. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to jump off, well, no death could be more sudden or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paragon like mine, that would be quite an assure. Hand it over. I'm confiscating this for the good of Hyrule. Certainly, why not? But there's no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. What about those mushrooms I picked up earlier? How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Alright, cool. Yep. Let me show you something. Oh, is it that thing over there? Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go grab it. And we're off. It's gonna be this is an opening section. It's gonna be really, really interesting. Where we're just doing the tutorial thing. It doesn't. You don't even really need to teleport during this section. So the challenge is basically unchanged, except for healing, I guess. But you don't. It, it's gonna not be very. Uh, it's not gonna be that different. Is what I'm saying. Oh, but wait a minute. The DLC chest, the DLC treasure chest that you get for buying the expansion pass, which unlocks you an amazing, spectacular ruby. <laughs> yeah, is it fast? Pretty sure it's fast to just let that play out, <laughs> ruby. Give me a new tip. Aim controls tilting. Yeah, I got that on. Give me the thing. Give me the thing. Whoa. That's crazy, man. Get, get, get out of there. <laughs> I didn't even throw it far, I just lifted it up. Alright, we got, we got a guy coming up ahead. He's gonna spell trouble for us. Thank you. He's a troublemaker. I have a plan. Spring. Some, that reminded me of Spring Man. You know, Spring Man from the hit game ARMS. Fun fact, the Mario Kart team worked on ARMS instead of like a new... You know, a new Mario Kart. That was a great investment on their part. It really made it worth their while. And... The only thing that team's released since, I believe, is the, uh, the deluxe, like, booster pass. So they're really just going to town with content on the Switch, is what I'm saying. Really just so much output with ARMS, the port, and a bunch of mobile courses. <laughs> nice, nice resolve, bro. My name is Omen AU. I create Dr. Shell AUs for fun. That's crazy.
Did all the Sheikas die in this game, if you think about it? Because they all tend, tend to smoke or dust during this. I guess the DLC guy might not. May the gods smile upon you. Thanks. Give me a chip. Strafing. They should add in, like, just a random update that only adds in one new tip, but they don't tell anyone that that's what it did. People are just really confused. Um, if, I'm, if I make a game, I'm gonna do that. Oh! Stop calling me. <laughs> I got that's. It wasn't funny. That joke isn't even funny the first time. Wow. You managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How'd you know? Oh, clairvoyance! Or perhaps something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before you with one's eyes. But that which was however that which was once out of view. Wait, yeah, can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that's not true for everybody. Yeah, the towers really did awaken these things. Like it breathed something into the wild. It's all connected to that chic slate slate you carry on your hip there. Can I get my paragraph, please? I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. Who's to say, really? It's interesting to think about, though. How something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are talked in numerous places all across the land. There's 120 of them, with three more on this plateau. Uh -huh. Bring me the treasure from each, and I will give you the paraglider. I need more now. Okay, thanks, but thanks, old man. Got it. Cool. No, no, I'm not, that see the thing you're about to teach me is called teleporting, and that is technically cheating within this run. So I cannot do it physically. No, I stop. Thanks, but th thank you. Thank you. I thank you for your good intentions. I know where they all are. There's one up there. It's kind of hidden from view right now. But wait, in fact, is that it? I can't tell. I don't think that's. It might be. I think it's. It's probably more like. I don't know. And we're off. Imagine that's instead of like trying to do any sort of commentary, I just like sing classic Zelda music and just over the entire thing. Ancient screw, yes. Yeah, well, the wrong walk to complete the plateau has begun. There's not going to be any more interruptions until we, uh, you know, finish this place. So I guess, uh, yeah, it's just you and me now, chat. Not much else. Uh, we're coming up on a pretty good part right here, though. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. I have a strategy. All right have in mind. Yeah, right here. Uh, I believe that one's alive. And one over there. There's a couple that are alive. That one might be, I forget. Save. Okay. We got a plan.
That guy alive? I forget. Uh-oh, yep, he's, yeah, that's, that's what we call him, the live one. Don't worry, I got a plan. Alright, it's time. Yep, okay. Here we go. Punch! <laughs> Just instantly. Uh, okay. Oh, that's one for the death count. Should I... I'm not gonna put it in the corner of the screen. I'll just try and keep. I should probably get like a note card. I think I got a piece of paper here. What's this for? Not important. Number one. That, that was a great death. This pencil's good. Number one. That, I think that death was worthwhile. Really. Added a lot to this playthrough, I think. Dying immediately to a guardian. Okay. Especially considering how simple... I can't, you can just walk around the back way and get in pretty easily from there, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think wooden shields can, like, stop the blast. So that was just completely unnecessary on literally every level imaginable. You, yeah, you don't even need to interact with any of them. You can just climb over this fence and you get inside. But that's not what's important now. What you can and can't do, because guess what? There's something that's extra important. It's right over here. That's right. Our second DLC chest that we get from purchasing the expansion pass. I was kind of hoping that followed me, but anyway. It is the Nintendo Switch shirt. Wear it with pride, the description says. That I will. Also, I can put on better pants. <laughs> Me, um, going to the convention center. I like Nintendo Switch. And I'm wearing my Switch shirt. It's gonna be really sad when we get to freaking Tears of the Kingdom and there's not gonna be a Switch shirt in it. It's gonna be so sad because this is such a good item. They just put an actual t-shirt in the game. It's not, it does not fit at all. And it's like this for the Wii U version too. So if you get it on there, it's like, buy Nintendo Switch. What, what a ridiculous item to put in your game. Like, come on, look at this. It's just, it's just, it's just the console. It's not even anything. They should have added more shirts like this. Cause it's just a t-shirt. They could have made like 50 t-shirt designs. What now? Give, give me bombs. Whoa. Bomba. That was a good episode of Adventure Time where they got sucked into that video game. Couldn't get the Bomba. And it went crazy. I solved the puzzle, you guys. I opened the thing. Nope. Nope. Traveler's Claymore. That's gonna be helpful later when we have to kill Ganon. <laughs> oh. Oh. That worked anyway. I can make it. They're playing catch with each other. It's so crazy. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Ah! <laughs> Treasure. Amber. 
me next. Whee! Oh, I didn't make it. Okay, give me, give me your orbs. Hand it over. I demand the transfer of your orbs to me immediately. Thank you. Yes, my resourcefulness. Really great. Thank you. Yep. It's gonna be... Time flies, that is true. That's why I'm playing this. To make, to make the time go faster. Until the next one... Until tears releases. I guess I should probably... I could probably talk about the direct a little bit, yeah. Not much else is happening within the game right now. I'm seeing some people, like, online who... I'm pretty disappointed with the direct, but I gotta be honest. I have no clue they're coming. Uh oh. I didn't know you were alive. Uh oh. I'm just out in the open right now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's the wall. <laughs> oh man. Now, nah, wow. That's just death down there. Okay. Well, I, got, I gotta escape from this perilous situation I have unnecessarily put myself in. Okay, I did it. Rock? My face went, there's just a rock on the ground. I thought it was a reference to Breath of the Wild. There was no Korok, though. Uh, okay, and yeah, anyway, direct talk. Uh. I really liked it personally, but I feel like I'm seeing some people online who's like, Oh, it was. Oh man, just look at all these JRPGs and freaking farming games. And I gotta be honest, I feel like. How to say, how do I say this? You're not used to like the amount of JRPGs that are in directs by this point. Um. Where have you been for, like, the past several years? Because, like, I feel like that's just a staple. Like, I think at some point you just have to accept that Nintendo as a company invests a lot into RPGs more than you may be willing to admit or want them to. Because I feel like it's been like this at least since 2017. Like, I don't remember much of the pre, like, that era. Like, pre the Switch Directs. But I feel like... It's been like that for a long time. Although there was an abnormal amount of farming simulators in this one, definitely. But like, still, it's like, what? What are you expecting? Yeah, person. I I thought it was good because obviously tears is a thing it's happening, and I can't wait for that game because it's gonna be amazing. And uh, Pikmin 4, I'm doing a Pikmin series on my YouTube channel right now, so I prophesize this, I mean, that game coming, apparently. Spicy pepper, that'll be useful. Bit. And... How much inventory? Okay, I'm out. Oh, looks like it. Yeah, what else was it? Oh, front mission we makes too. Those are gonna be cool. Oh, just although I just hope that Forever Entertainment doesn't mess it up because I heard not great things about some of their previous stuff. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I I can't imagine you can biff a strategy game. The design's already there. You just gotta make it like modern now. Uh oh. Shut. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> I 
What else does that director have? Oh, new fire on them. That's, I mean, I guess that's part of the reason why people are like, oh, look at all these JRPGs. But personally, fire on them. That really goes, uh. I mean, I'm excited for it, but I do have to admit that I'm getting some slightly weird vibes from the game. I don't know if it's just because of, like, Colgate. Like, m main protagonist, but... Still. I feel like it's just... Feels a bit different. I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, the graphics aren't blurry this time or something. I don't know. Oh, wow. I just turned away and they all went to sleep. That's convenient. To do. To do. And you're dead. Thank you. This common item. Got it. Bees are in that one, so you don't want to go in there. Yeah. So basically, what I'm saying, I think direct was good. What's even in this chest? Oh, it's the throwing spear, yeah. I forgot immediately. But uh, after pitchforking those guys, there's one more thing I have to fork. Yes! Meat. Thank you. Alright. Ugh, so peaceful at night in this game. It's really calm, even though I just mass murdered three people. Liking where this game's head is at right now. See those guys? I don't, I'm gonna. I'm about to pull a funny on those guys. <laughs> it's probably the most perilous bridge in this entire game if you think about it, because you basically have to do that to cross. I don't even have to kill these guys. I can just like climbing up right now, but instead I'm gonna. I am going out of my way to murder these people. That is explicitly what I'm doing. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, they're gone. Yeah, they're just dead. Their loot's not even really worth it. It's just like sticks. Pretty cool though. Now, what am I going to use these apples? I don't know, because I can't heal during combat. They're probably outside of combat. Solve that mystery real quick. You should call me the problem solver. <laughs> me when I'm going to take a bite out of a big freaking hamburger. What's that thing? What in the, the world could that be? I wonder. And just look at it. So pretty. 
can't wait for the Switch 2, where every game will run at higher resolution. I mean, I could have just emulated this, but I didn't feel like setting that up. So we are going with good old Switch. You know, an emulator could have really, like, let me expand this challenge to, like, other frontiers instead of this honor system. But no, we're just gonna go with basic stuff. Did make it fun. Alright. Almost, we're almost at Stasis Shrine. Okay, I don't want to alarm you guys, but I may have forgotten to cook like the spicy food while we we're down there. Which is going to be problematic for us to, uh, figure out on the way down, basically. Oh, I'm pretty sure daytime, yeah, the sun's rising, I'm pretty sure, so. I think we can just sort of wait these guys out. I mean, they, they pose literally zero danger, but it's just kind of fun to wait them out. We can watch the sunrise, too. Give it a bit. Oh, they went. They went in. Okay. Uh, look at it. So majestic, still, even five years later. All right. Head on in. Basis. Stop. <laughs> That's what this child was like. Hold on. Uh, stop. What are you doing? Give it. Give it. Give it. Give me my power so I can get off this, this island and go to the main place I'm actually going. Give me. Give me. Alright, thank you. Rune extracted. Right. Hurry up. Please. <gasps> I don't even think you need stasis for this shrine. I'm pretty sure it's still possible to just like jump over past the first thing. And probably around that too. That over there. Ooh, a sh an actually good shield. Interesting. Interesting. Hammer. Uh, I'm gonna try and use leap some other time. We can get rid of rusty claymore. And it's out the ballpark. It's out of there. It's out of there. And what if anyone's like died from that bouncing like backwards at themselves? I think that'd be really funny. Like I did what the tutorial told me to do. What is this? Yes, my resourcefulness really, truly overcame this entire shrine. Thank you. Climbing tip. Hey, we've seen this, this lowering screen tip already. What is this BS? Man, a recount. Ah, what are you guys even doing here? It's daytime. Oh. Damn, that sucks. Okay. 
Yeah, it definitely gets cold up there, so... Um, we have to find a way to traverse back. Take, we're taking the long road on accident, because I am a fool who forgot to cook the proper food while we were at the cooking stand. Wait, did I get flint at any point? No, I did not, and I didn't get wood anyway. You never really have to scale down cliffs in this game because by the time, like, you just get the paraglider, so going down doesn't really happen in, like, big areas like this, which is kind of disappointing because this is, like, a really scary experience. And so, it's like, oh, I hope I can get over this freaking, like, ledge thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Can I make it? I mean, you just don't know. Uh, what I'm saying, they should have done this more. I interesting. Very cool dynamic. Yep. We should be basically out of Okay. Should be good. Alright, now we just gotta make another bridge, and we're out of here. Well, imagine if I climbed down from that and fell off on this bridge right here. <laughs> oh, I need you later for cooking elixir. Is that a oh no, that's a bird. I'm sorry, it had to be done. I needed your drumstick. I don't know, when this game first came out, uh, if you, I'm pretty sure if you talk to the old man right here, or like read his journal, his uh, his diary like mentions the spicy food you can make, and like it mentions meat. And I, w I thought that you needed like mushroom, the spicy, and the meat to like actually cook the spicy food. Um, that's definitely not true. However, I can make that prophecy come true today. Because I managed, I figured out, I can kill bird. This music goes so hard, especially the version when you get a critical hit on the cooking. And yeah, that should be good. Now remember, we can't, we can't eat that outside of combat. Do I want the torch? Maybe. What did I get rid of? I could get rid of that. <sighs> what a game. Ooh, uh, and the sh shield's badly damaged. <laughs> oh, that, dang it. Look at this. Rock. Oh, what? Wow, I thought you could pick this up. Nope, it's just baked into the- Wow, that's weird. This feels like you should- eat. Okay then. I guess you can't. Never mind. It's not actually a rock. Right, we got another enemy camp coming up. I have, I have a plan for these guys too. Called them. We're going to, um. Actually, wait, I do have a plan. Unironically. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't interfere with my plan any. Check it. Fuck! <laughs> no! Dang it. Oh. Alright, these guys, they're all baby enemies. They can't actually do anything to me. They can threaten to do something, but they can't actually do anything. Dang it. 
I mean, if I keep letting them hit me, then maybe they'll get something funny off. Ow. Hey, there's a cliff right there. Don't, don't stop ragdolling. See, this is why I'm specifically not playing in Master Mode, because I like the ability to hit some of them and retain their damage. I should, why, I probably shouldn't be using, like, that when I... Pitchfork. Goodbye. Where'd the other one go? Did he fall down? I assume so. Yeah, retaining damage. It's, it's just a lot more fun, and I will just not play lame by throwing bombs. I will just not use that strategy. No one will I just arrow them from afar. Did I do that yet? I don't think so. Wait, I think I might have accidentally did that. I will not... Well, I aired that one guy who I missed the headshot on, but I feel like that was pretty fair because I was not like... Hiding from him, really. I was stopping him from summoning the rest. But I'm just gonna play it how I want to play it, is what I'm saying. Watch time. There we go. Off into the great freezing wilderness. Got. There's like the warm doublet path you can take because this area is. Oh, doops, doops, oh, doops. Burn those. But, uh, yeah. There's like multiple ways to go into this area because this is like the cold elemental region and you gotta find a way to deal with it on the plateau. And you can like cook a food like I did earlier and I'll use that in a bit. Or you can bring a flame to keep you warm. But then there's like the warm doublet path where like. You talk to the man who, I'm pretty sure he's, like, up there. And, like, he gives you, like, that piece of clothing. But, like, I gotta be honest. I don't feel like... I don't feel like that's a great way, because... I don't know. I just feel like... Most people probably, in just their casual play, will probably tackle, like, the snow area last. So, they'll be like, why would I need this? I don't need this. I'm fine. Well, no, I was just saying words right there. Let me, let me rethink that. Like, they'll probably take the snow area fine last, and I feel like either that way, like the way I'm coming from right now, or maybe even from over this direction where I'm going to, is just an easier way to get in from there instead of climbing through where that shrine is. Ignore the sounds of death around me. Even though the warm doublet is an immensely useful object, which I'm probably actually going to grab because, uh, you know, I can't teleport, so. And I don't know if I'll be able to clear the shrine before it, like, it ends. So, I could just eat the food, go and grab it, and then I'll be gooch. Gucci for the rest of this, uh, snow area. And then I'll have it for when I have to go to the main snow area. Good plan, Jason. Excellent plan. Did I murder those guys? Probably. Is there any piece of wood around here? I don't think so. Right, will these guys drop anything that is worthwhile at all? Oh, maybe. Maybe I don't need to grab it from him. I could probably just. Because there's a lot of um, thingies down there. The. Peppers, so I could probably just make enough. Yeah. I'll grab it. For, I'll grab it anyway for fun. Anyway. <laughs> it just—they don't suspect me. Wait, I got such a banger plan though. Yeah, I gotta do this just right. It's gonna take a bit. I got a banger. I got a banger idea. Please roll into play. Okay, I think the wind is taking it too far. Wait, maybe. I don't know if that'll work. My plan was to booby trap the, the thing. I don't know. Okay, it stopped right there. Play it where it lands.
Hola. Top, top, mist. Top, he died. Nope. Oh, ooh, that, that's not great. I meant to go for the actual parry, but I just took the swing on accident. Oh well. I hope I'm not too far back. Hopefully I'm like on the cliff before I try to fight them. That'd be convenient. Yes, right here. If I didn't get disarmed from that guy dying right when I needed him to, like, be there so my farmer... Oh, well. Good. Oh, I guess that's two, isn't it? I'll write that down. Two. Two deaths so far. One of them was self-inflicted, basically, though, so does it even really count? Yes is the objective answer to that statement, by the way. And you answered otherwise wrong with you? No. At least you need to roll. That's the wrong one. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's exactly where I need it. No, stop coming back. There we go. And I'll just let you roll around and m probably murder me accidentally during combat. <laughs> no! <laughs> Looney Tunes. Thank you. Nice. If that's the one, that's the broken one still. I believe he has a nice shield for me too. I can just get rid of my bad, dumb shield. A cobbling guts, what a great item. Yeah, that should be enough. Make some pretty interesting items. Give me that. Give me the chest. Give me the amber. Now, unfortunately, uh, the third expansion pass chest is kind of out of the way. And I know I already said I'm going out of my way for the doublet, but I gotta be honest. I'm pretty sure it's like under a waterfall or something. I just do not feel like going to get that, so... We will not be grabbing all three expansion pass chests on the Great Plateau in this playthrough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope someone stopped watching because of that. I think that'd be really funny. Just like, this guy's not even... Fucking screw this guy! What's he even thinking? Oop, yeah, that should... Yeah, that should work for a while. Here, I'll make a second one just in case. What's the tip? Yep, okay, yeah, we should be good. No, oh, it's just the recipe tutorial. Oh. Yeah, this really does feel like the more intended route. Oh no. Please give that back to me. Thank you. There we go. I 
feel like I remember a trailer or something showing like Link riding on a log. And that's definitely an activity that you can do in this game. And you can... It's the one that you can do. I was going to elaborate on that sentence and I feel like that's kind of all the elaboration. Like you can definitely float down a log, you know, on a river. Um, why? Why would you do that though? What, what, what possesses you to say this is a good idea for me to do? Because I really just, I can't imagine the world where that's like, yep, yeah, this is, that makes sense to me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. And look at that desert. I wonder where we're going to go. Well, I don't know which divine beast we'll do first. I'm kind of leaning towards desert because I don't normally do that one first. But I might put it up to a chat vote or something when um, the time comes. Well, first things first, we're going to probably go to Kakariko and, um, you know, Hataino to get the stuff there first. And then we'll make a choice. Should just be right up there. Yeah. Right, so this place is going to be fun to um, surf down. I'm doing mental math in my head right now about how I want to end up dividing the uh, the health and stuff, the, the upgrades that we'll get from the orbs. But uh, I'll, I'll consider that in a bit. Because right now, we found the guy. Structure. What's up, man? Uh, I enjoy gazing out at the world from here. <laughs> For a breathtaking view. May be the best best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Do you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Yes, you can pin anything on it. I would have given you this tutorial if you came up to the fucking tower, but you didn't do that, huh? What, you think you're too good for me? Well, that's how you do it. How'd you know? Just a few tricks I've picked up after many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel so. You'd do it well to make it this far without the proper clothing. <laughs> Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. Thank you, old man. Thank you. Oh, I look snazzy now. Do you have dialogue for it? Oh ho! Have you found the remaining strides? Fantastic. Just one more until you have my paraglider. It's right there. Oh, core puzzle. But yes, because, uh, the orbs. I intend for well, part of this challenge run to be that I, uh, don't get, like, max stamina or max health. But, uh, I'm trying to figure out how that should go. Right now, I'm thinking, um, I should limit it to, like, the divine beast I have cleared, basically. So, like,. Each time I clear Divine Beast, I got I get um, some more hearts and stuff I can use. Or more stamina wheels, which I'm pretty sure the stamina wheels are broken into sets of four. Or maybe five, I forget. And I want... Either way, it should work. I wouldn't mind getting a full stamina wheel like early, like before the last Divine Beast. I did not think at all the rules of this challenge. Uh, this was kind of just a gung-ho thing where, like, I've been thinking about doing a challenge run for a while, but, uh, I just never did it. But then the trailer dropped and it's like, I want to play more of Breath of the Wild. And so it's like, challenge run time. And I just did a couple of easy rules. Yeah, so I'm thinking... Each Divine Beast... will get me more potential unlocks. Let's see, well, there's four of them. Uh, 
I don't want to go without any unlocks until, you know, one of them blows the thing. Because that will be a while, because, like, I'm going to, you know, go mess off in that region for a while. I mean, if I do, like... If I let myself get up to the full 13 hearts you need for the Master Sword, or... Pretty sure it's 13? Uh... Anyone verify that? I don't know if anyone's even in chat right now, but... Hey, tell me how many hearts you need for the Master Sword if you are. I mean, I could just look it up really quick. I have my phone with me. I'm just gonna look it up. Never mind, chat. If you're doing it, then... Never mind. How many hearts? Lord. 13, yeah, I knew what it was. I mean, I could just have it be like two for each divine beast, since, you know. Well, two. Well, so like, I get two more before the first, but then I need to get a divine beast to get two more for a max of 13 for this run, and then I get Master Sword. Yeah, that could be fun. And then. Stamina wheels, I think, would be the same thing. I'm just gonna... I might get... Because I the tent is 13 hearts and a second full wheel of stamina, which I think... I forget if the stamina wheel would is broken into five parts or four, but either way, I think I'm okay if I get a full wheel a bit early. So I'll just say that I can get two more hearts right now and one extra piece of stamina wheel, and we'll just see how it goes like that for the rest of the Divine Beasts. Because uh, I, just despite playing on normal mode as opposed to master mode, I do not want this to be a cakewalk. I would like there to be some parts of challenge in this, and I want to it to make me consider all the resources I have at my disposal. Okay then. Bye-bye. Oh, that's a torch. Uh, don't want to waste that. Bye-bye. No. Oh, it doesn't matter which side you do, Jason. A treasure chest in the shrine. I feel like there should be. Maybe I missed it already. Oh no, it's right there. I wonder if you could make that without summoning Cryona. Useless. I mean, I guess I I won't need a torch. But I got myself a comfy shirt. It's so comfy. Yeah, I mean, I could get... Nah, I'll just get rid of the torch. I, I'm not exactly intending to burn anything anytime soon. Although, I guess I'm leaving, like, all the cliffs, so... The leaf wouldn't be that much better either. Well, it's water. I can send enemies into water instead. Sourcefulness in overcoming this trial. Yeah, thanks. What if, like, a random guy got the Sheikah Slate and walked into one of the trials and, like, got through it completely? What what would happen then? Would they be like, oh shit, D okay. You know, I was gonna ask, like, isn't it a little bit convenient that all of the power-up shrines are at the start in the plateau? What's up with that? But, um, it actually kind of makes sense since it's next to the Shrine of Resurrection, which is where the Sheikah Slate goes anyway, so. But the power-ups next up. Anyway, old man time. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines in the plateau. Extraordinary. That means it is finally time. 
Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, imagine an X on your map <laughs> with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. In between the lines of everyday life. That, that's a reference to Kamiuri's speech in No More Heroes 3. Um, it's a very obscure sort of reference. And it's literally one line. It's not even the most memorable line. Also, he just went ghost for you. I'm going ghost! He's a phantom. Ooh, I want that. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, that just drained a heart. The cold, I mean, honestly, cold damage being really dangerous. That's such a like a raw choice, but all because it's it's cool. But also like Jesus. Can I climb down from this? Yeah, I can climb down from this. Uh oh. Please don't be down there. I think they're up above, so I should be good. I feel like if a mountain climber saw what I just did right there, it'd be like, what the, the, the hell? Stop, what are you doing? Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? No, it's just you. That's so sad. Can I, like, get across? Really, I can reach that. Yes. <sighs> ah, we're almost out of the plateau, though. Which means the real game can start. And we'll be free. Completely free to go in any direction we want. I mean, we're, go we're going in the direction of Kakariko first. But other than that, free! Any direction we desire. You know what we need in the sequel for this game? People say dungeons, enemy variety, whatever. Fuck that. We need ca photo mode. Give me an actual photo mode. Not like the cameras right now. Like, that they're already in the game. I'm talking like full-on Mario Odyssey. Like, photo mode. Filters and shit. And being able to position the camera. Give me that. So I guess I didn't need the warm double after all. Considering that... Food I made gave me like 12 minutes of freaking cold resist. It'll be useful later though. When we go to the snow rain. Actually, one of the changes I do hope they make is getting rid of this. I think the stamina bar during combat obviously makes sense and for climbing because that limits you. But, uh, for running, it's a piece of shit. Because I just want to run, man. Like, I think running in combat, that makes sense to me. Like, yeah, you shouldn't be able to just run away. That That's when Sam Boss should come on. But, like, otherwise, I'm like, why? Why? It just slows down travel. And makes me look at a bar for half the game. Ooh! Hold on. Give me a bit. Hey, you found my secret treasure hoard! It's a secret to everyone! Now you die! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Skeletor. It had to be done. I'm back! Wanna see you funny? What are you doing with my head? No! Ah!
<laughs> I feel like the best part about this game, the absolutely dynamic nature of it. There would have been a guy around there, but I killed him at the start. I forgot about that. I'm probably gonna get a blood move like as soon as we jump off the plateau. Zelda's gonna be like, "Yo, look the fuck out, Link!" And then it's gonna be like, "Oh shit!" I'm gonna go off stamina for the first one since that's more immediately useful and I want to try and cap things be a bit dangerous for a while. So, that's what we'll go with. That, nope, nope. What are you doing, Link? Hurry up and pick the thing and get up here! <laughs> Link looks so pissed while looking up there. Actually, hey, I want to stand my thing, please. Yes. I mean, I guess in the long run, I don't see a problem of granting me a full stamina reel. In fact, it might just be tips. I mean, maybe event, maybe once I beat them all, I'll let myself do that. But until then. We will limit myself. Uh, if you haven't figured it out already, this fun, this run is less so based around the idea of like being an uber hard challenge anymore. So let's play Breath of the Wild with an interesting twist, keep it fresh and fun. So I'm just doing what's fun, basically. Which is how you should play video games. Hey, am I now ready? Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago? Oh, we get voice acting. Well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. <gasps> what? Oh my the god! Last leader of Hyrule. Ooh. He must have sucked then, if he was the last one. He's a phantom, Danny Phantom. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Damn, dude. And since that time, Your life? I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. Good point. So Great choice. That, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. Okay. I think you are now ready. He's saying the line. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. Ooh. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. Whoa. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Crazy. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Whoa. 
This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. Do you, do you want to consider with that? Okay, then. Sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Hey, that's me. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. Yeah. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He yelled really loudly. I don't know, man. I feel like... Uh, I, listen, I, I'm not going to say taking over the Divine Beast wasn't smart, right? But I feel like it's not like that cunning of a plan. He just basically used magic and said, Mine now. Lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The Yay. words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Ooh, that sucks. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. Yeah. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Hey, okay, will do. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Prozy D made a video about this where the cutscene has the voice acting and then it goes to gameplay and just like, mmm. Anyway, go on. It was the paraglider. Just as I promised. We got it. We can use it. That, 
you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that is it. Mm. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Destroy Ganon! Alright. That's what we're gonna do. And also seek out Impa, but that's not nearly as cool as destroy Ganon! Uh, I'm going to use the restroom and get some water. So I will leave you with this site of um, Hyrule Castle. And uh, be right back, screen and music. I'm pretty sure this text is from Mario. Make it, yeah, put levels into chat. Don't do that. I, I'm, don't put levels into chat. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll be right back. Let me leave you with some swanky, swanky music. Uh, oh, oh, no, I don't have the playlist open. Oh, no, it's a complete, it's a complete disaster. Where's my playlist? Build music. There it is. Let's go with some Paradise Killer. Okay, that might be loud. I'm going to slightly turn that down. I hope that's not... Okay, that's kind of overwhelming. God, I'm going to turn it down more. Okay, that should be better. All right, I'll be right back. I realize now uh, I forgot to mute my mic during this. Be right back. So you heard my door open and shut, but that is fine. Yeah, really short. Here I be. Song was barely halfway over. Get that, get that BRB off screen. And it's time. It's time to take off. Here we go. Oh, wait. Never mind. There's, there's a good bow in this chest. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Give it a bit. Give it a bit. Give it, hold up. Hold on. Oh. Okay. And we're off. <laughs> We can fly. Oh my god. I okay, I just realized like look up right now. There's nothing up there. Uh right except that, except that. That's the only thing that's up there, but we're going to go up there in the sequel. Like we're going to ascend to the sky and we're going to be like going It's going to be so crazy. Like going from mountain to mountain. No, oh, hold on, give me one moment.
almost fell on my chair. Yeah, I just said. Sorry, buddy. What was I saying? Like, that's gonna be so crazy to experience. Like, cause it's the same world, which I know is a criticism a lot of people have. But personally, I think I have a feeling it's gonna probably feel a lot different. And I think seeing what's changed is also gonna be part of the appeal of it for me too. But like, anyway, this besides the point right now. It's like just going up there and like really moving between fucking sky islands and like seeing down on this ground. That's gonna be. It's gonna be insane. Like how how they do that? On, on the fucking switch? This this piece of shit hardware? Okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. It's gonna be crazy. Now, although the DLC uh, thing is a wash, we may have access to. Some other DLC chests potentially. Oh! They knew what they were doing while making this game. They knew when to do things like that. Uh, well, I think it would be here if the DLC was active yet. I don't know if it's active yet. Okay, let, let me see. Now we got. Are, are we active yet? Do we have it? Uh, are we about to get a barrage of quests? Quest logs. Where is it? I don't. I don't even know if this is the right one. I thought. I thought it was. It might not be. Because I know there's a couple of um quests we could potentially pick up around here. We, yeah, this isn't a DLC chest, but we have a normal chest. It's like a loot box. It's different every time you open it. I mean, they're all set, but you don't... Who the hell is going to remember the each and every one? It's an amber. That, that, that's a combo material. Wait, oh, nope, there's the book. DLC chest, we're, we're about to activate them. Was this book always here? I mean, I just got off the plateau, so for me, yeah. I hid eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. Misko. I hope Misko's in the sequel. Ancient mask lies at the ruins where the soldiers ga gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Kamolo are visible. I'm pretty sure that's Majora's mask. Uh, I'm just gonna ban that one if we happen upon it because it's cheating! The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Do you know how many ruins in Hyrule Field there are? Find these pieces at the ruins where trade flourished. At the ruins where sinners were imprisoned. And at the village, ruins next to, pe to farmland where many people once gathered. And the Princess of Twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can be found at the temple ruins soaked in the water of Reshina River. I think I know what that is. Armor worn by fierce phantoms feared even by heroes is hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. That's a lot of them. Find them at that place, that place. That one. EXE is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? Thanks, Miss. <laughs> We're about to get like 12 quests.
Uh, what the game? Okay, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like, actually. And what should I stab you with the next that one? Thank you. No way that rusty shield is good. Or that. I mean, I broke something so I can take it. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, it's a broadsword. I didn't realize it was one handed. What's in here? 20 rubies. Rupees. I was gonna say there's no reason for us to go to Kakariko, but actually, yes, there is. We have to unlock the memories first, which is pretty important, so I guess we should go there. But then, after we do that, um, well, the stream will probably end once I get to, like, Ateno. But after that, we will, uh, you know, go to, like, you know, so next, next time, we will go in some completely random direction, basically. Ooh! What'd you know? Thing. And another thing. Lots of things. Please tell me I can just ball. I'm balling! Oh, come on. Handicap. Nice. All right, thank you, thank you, Korok. <laughs> the Bosch color shine. Let's see what's in here. Anyway, oh, it's wind puzzle. Oh, I just realized they put the glider-based puzzle outside of the plateau. Wow, what? Look at that game design. chest right there. This is even really a, a puzzle. It's, it's kind of the same thing three times. Plus that. Come on. Oh, I didn't know if I was going to make that. Soldier's Claymore. The, the 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 elder is just like what stop littering in my shrine dude stop it that's that's i you know how hard it is to clean these pits you don't is the thing now obviously within the trailers for the sequel to this game um tears damn it's really it's gonna take a while to adjust from calling it breath of the wild 2 to um tears of the kingdom but Obviously, you know, the shrines and Sheikah stuff, they're all just completely wiped from the map. There's no way there's not, like, a part, like, maybe in, like, an underground section or something, right? Where there's just, like, ruins of the shit, just, like, freaking remember us, assholes. And they this reuse these assets for, like, one little area underground or something. If there's even an underground.
Is there an underground? Who knows? I don't know. Do you? Wait, what? Why am I getting... Oh, okay, I guess those... I thought those were still the same side quests that came from, like, the, uh, the book I read. And she's like, those are still going? Ooh, Merchant Hood. Wait, where's that item at, actually? Hold on. Merchant Hood. Day of Village Ruins. I'm pre That's probably somewhere out in freaking... I don't feel like going out of my way to grab it. I think I know where Garbs of the Wind is, so if I can figure it out, then I might grab it. Oh, okay, I might. Hey! Don't be right. Uh, uh, freaking that side quest, the Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'll, I'll get back to that right now. We have Rigo. Hey! Don't be rash! You want to change the world by jumping carelessly to your own doom, don't you know? That only do one thing, and that's drive me batty. Seriously, think of the shock I'd suffer seeing something like that. Uh. You're fine, just don't be so careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. Okay. Well, yeah, before I talk to him again, just. <laughs> this quest line, it's ridiculous to me, just like. Because everything else is like labeled as an X, like extra adventure or something, but this one's just in brackets. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> and I think it's really funny. Anyway. Man, don't you ever do something like that again. Got it? You almost gave me a heart attack. Seriously. Huh? We're doomed. And I, I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met before? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself. So you've come at a good time. But, by the by... Those strange things that pop out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only thing that's happened. These long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all the crazy is happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? What thing? <laughs> I'm talking about the Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories of Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Oh. You know, some of them can move? One of them tra killed, I mean, tra chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was close to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But well, somehow I managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Heh, <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wandering around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Thank you, Brico. My sword. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da. <laughs> That's gonna be the ongoing joke. I just suddenly start singing old Zelda music. I probably should have grabbed a horse at a stable first. It's okay, we can walk. We'll be we'll live. And I, I can grab a tower too. Good to get some muscle on our legs. Treasure chest, Akira. Treasure chest. Why not both? Bye bye. Oppo. Oppo. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. I don't know if I have enough stamina. Was it worth it? Not really. Wait, big brain play. Big brain play. Uh oh. Please. Dang it. I was gonna try and weigh it, like have the water bring me closer on its own. It's fine, I can just retry. I'm, there was no consequence to that action at all. Stamina go bass, yes! An octo balloon, yes! I just realized... I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the DLC with this challenge. Probably is the answer. Getting back onto the plateau for that part, that's gonna be a real pain. Oh, we'll deal with that when we get to that, I guess. Boat. I feel like I haven't explored this ocean. Not really an ocean. Oh, that's a Korok. Well, today we explored. Hey, I kept my leaf. Well, wind waking now. No. Adventure. Now I know the one. That's the one thing I'm not going to limit myself on during this playthrough. Um, the Korok seeds. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm taking all the inventory you can get. Because I mean, it's gonna be hard. I, I probably won't get max inventory anyway. Because that requires like a shit ton of seeds. Although I guess if I'm walking everywhere, I might accidentally get that many. Uh oh, he didn't see me. I mean, he did, but he just immediately gave up on me. So, uh. Uh. All right. Dang it. I missed my swing. If I didn't miss my swing, it would have worked out. That's number three. Wrote that down. Dangerous to approach enemies head on when you're low on hearts or don't have protective equipment. So don't do that. Oh, my boat's not even here. That's so. Come on. Now I have to walk back. I blame you, Korok. Gunned down in the middle of the street. When will this tragedy end? Don't shoot at me. I did nothing to deserve this. I was gonna try and come up with a thing that I did to deserve this, but honestly, I'm blanking here. I actually did nothing. Please. Oh. Is he still going for it? Okay, I think he's done. He was out for blood, though. He was like, I want you dead. Probably could have been successful at some point, too. He's gonna be a world renowned, like, crime fighter. Oh, not a crime fighter. He's gonna be a world renowned, like, grunt villain. My main rival. Thank you.
Crazy. Nice. Oh, uh, so we get the sensor now. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I'll keep that on. Sure, why not? Uh. Uh, when I first played, oh, it's going to be going off of those two. That's slightly boring, but anyway, when I first played this game, I think I took like that path, like I jumped from here over to that cliff over there to get to um, Kakariko, and I'm turning this off. Actually, I know like where most of them are. But yeah, um, I took like that path over there, and I always considered what like I think is supposed to be the back entrance to K Kakariko, like the main entrance, and I didn't even get a horse until like after I left. Which I mean, I guess it's not that different of a time frame, but still. Uh, I'm specifically going this way though because I want horse as soon as possible because that's going to make traveling a lot faster and easier. I guess it's this shrine. Is this... I don't think this is the sister. I'm pretty sure there's just three in this area, and with one of them being here, and the other two up top. Let's just see what's going on in here. More than a weapon. It's a tool. That's basically what that tip says. Anyway, which one's this? I mean, just everything. Holy shit. We did it, you guys. We saved the day. I was saved. Yeah, right now we're in baby puzzle hours. Eventually we'll get something slightly harder. Oh, I'm Ivan. Oh, oh, oh. Look at it go, it roll. That was too soon. Way too soon. I feel ashamed of myself for that one. Too late. There. Not there at all, actually. There. There we go. What? Come on. Yeah, we're in baby puzzle hours right now, and then it just, just proceeds to kick my ass apparently. Ah, uh, there we go. It's a cool little trick you can do. Please, trick, uh oh. The monk's like, bro? What? What? Well, I need to. That's not it. Hold on, I momentarily forgot the shield. How to shield surf there? That's how you know I'm tired. Please, nope. Please, I can make that one. Nope. Okay. I'm just not gonna grab that chest then.
Bro, you jumped off a cliff two times in my house. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I just wanted to try and cheese that chest. Good job. You deserve a piece of candy for your work. I wonder how many loading screens are going to be in the sequel, though, because, um... Like... Like, the islands feel so seamless, and it feels like... I don't know if they are going to take... The, I don't think they're, like, taking the exact place of shrines, because I think it's completely seamless, where you could just potentially go between any of them. But depending on how they structure it, it might not even be like, okay, uh, now you have to go through the loading zone. So it might just be like a completely seamless experience, which would be crazy. Yeah, but the hero path for this let's play is that's gonna it's gonna be like so crazy to watch since there's gonna be no teleports. The only thing that's gonna cause interruptions will be the deaths. Yes. Oh, misfire. Key sideballs. Now those are good for potions. Because you can make the... I don't even know if those are required for the heart potions, actually. But they're, they're a thing you can make, alright. Alright, here we are. Glen Bridge. And just rusty swords. Hello! Huh? What's the matter with you? You look right tuckered out. You know, dueling peak stables real close. Yeah, I mean, it's right over there. <laughs> if you're feeling a mite package, I've got just the thing to get your strength back. A nice hunk of meat. I carry only the finest meats. I guarantee you these are top choice provisions. Or your ruby's back. Ah. I can't afford it. I can only afford salt. I can't believe this. Anything else you need? Be ashamed to let all this meat go to waste. Lower your prices. Do you know the economic crisis of Hyrule right now? We're living in the post-apocalypse. We can't be affording these capitalistic ideals. <laughs> I want to take an economics class for Hyrule specifically. Alright, what, what puzzles this one? Water guides. Oh yes, it's this one. And the one that teaches you, hey, you can do side waterfalls too. That's pretty crazy. Hey, now I can afford it. Hold on. Maybe I'm on this capitalistic ideal now, actually. Now that I can actually afford, now I can buy things. It's crazy.
Did I do this right? Probably not. I mean, maybe. Oh. Yeah, that should work. There we go. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! The camera had to figure out where to move to. I mean, he's already there, so I guess we'll tilt down a little bit. Hello, welcome to my shrine. You seem to have managed to break in. Uh, could you, like, not do that next time? Come on, man. I worked hard in this place. It's daytime. Very crazy. Very cool. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know how peaceful it is around here. Sometimes you need to forget that the world almost ended years ago. Hmm. <laughs> but there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Harrow Castle is especially dangerous. If you're traveling, if you're if you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. I know all about them. Huh? Oh, you're going already? Oh. I think I'll some can kill some time honoring the shrine. Yeah, it's quite pretty. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab that. Go up there. have to get up there, Jesse. Look at that. A horse guy. Oh, no, 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 oh, come on. I slipped slippery feet. <laughs> you think this is some kind of sick joke? I refuse to wait until I, we get Rivali's Gale. Which, by the way, earlier I said I'm gonna ban all the champion powers. I'm, I'm probably gonna let myself use Rivali's for convenience. Maybe after we. Maybe only after we got every Divine Beast. Maybe that'll be the stipulation. Which, I mean, depending on how the order goes, could just end up being after I get it anyway, still. Yeah, you found me! I saw you slip three times! Thank you. Oh. Brady. Yeah. Well. This seems. I know I said we're. <laughs> this flashback to like 30 minutes earlier in the stream. Yeah, I'll probably end it at Hateno. Um. Kind of tired. And, uh. That's a lot far. Uh. Well. I probably could make it there within like an hour, but I we have to go through some story stuff there and then there I think. So I'm just gonna save that for tomorrow basically. Um Go in the Discord. If you aren't in it, it should be like a link I have in just the links I have on my channel. Scroll down. And uh yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna be playing more Breath of the Wild probably. I'm not just probably, I mean definitely that's what's happening. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll do Kakariko, Potato, and at least set off to go to the first Divine Beast, basically. Well, 
Goodbye, you guys. Okay, pop a save. Good night.